failed attempt at the end of July, French inventor Frankie Zapata successfully crossed the English Channel on August 4th. On his flyboard, a, a jet-powered hoverboard, Zapata departed from the Sangate, France and arrived in Dover, England in 22 minutes later, reaching speeds of up to 106 miles per hour during the 22-mile trip. We made a mission three years ago, he said after landing, and now we have crossed the channel. It's crazy! The Guardian reports that the trip was not a continuous one because the only carried a 10-minute supply of fuel on his back. He had to make a pit stop at the halfway mark to refuel. This was Jabada's second attempt to cross the channel and his first attempt at the end of July ended in failure. When he fell into the water while trying to land on the refueling platform, he and his team chugged up the crash to the size of the waves during the landing attempt forcing him to miss the edge of the platform by centimeters. After the crash, he said that they would make the attempt once again, this time using a slightly different route and a larger refueling platform. He invented the flyboard in 2011, a device that uses a water jet to propel the rider through the air behind a boat. He later invented the flyboard, a, a boat powered by four turbojet engines that allows a rider to fly through the air untethered using a computer to keep it stabilized. In 2016, Chepata set a world record for the farthest hoverboard flight after a flew the flyboard along the south coast of France for 2,252 meters. Um, it's about 1.4 miles. The inventor made headlines in the middle of the July when he appeared over crowds during the France Bastille Day celebration carrying a gun. Demands of some of the users that the device could have. There has been some interest from the defense industry in the vehicle. A defense contractor in plant sciences had planned to acquire Jepta's company. Jepta Industries, although the, that deal later fell through, and France Defense and Procurement Agency granted Jepta's 1.3 million euros grant in 2018 to help with the development of the vehicle. Jepta is not the only person working on this sort of jet powered personal transportation. English inventor Richard Browing developed a jet suit that allows the wearer to fly with six turbo engines strapped to their arms, something he is demonstrated to with everyone from the British Royal Marines to Adam Savage. The invitation to fly like a superhero came via Richard Browning, CEO of the Gravity Industries and the inventor of the Gravity Jet Suit. If you have not seen the viral videos of the Browning flying through the sky in his insane invention, then let me give you a little bit of background. Browning is a former British Royal Marine and oil trader who set out on a mission in early 2016 to make human flight a reality. By October, that year, he had a suit that could fly. He's constantly enhancing his invention, and today the suit is propelled by two mini jet engines strapped to each forearm and the slightly large jet attached on your back. Total propulsion uh, is like 1,050 horsepower. That's more than a Bugatti. Veron, nearly one and off in the cars, is phenomenal, says Browning. When you see Browning effortlessly zoom across the sky, 
like a comic book hero you will understand why i was so excited to work on this assignment the suit sells for it's like 440k us dollars so unless i hit the lottery this is my one and only chance to fly like iron man the drama browning asked me to meet 